Good morning. What up y'all? So I am about to make breakfast right now. I'm gonna make this cabbage, cabbage dish. I don't know what it's called. I don't even know if it has a name. Repollo, my mom just calls it repollo. Guisado, I don't know. But um, it's basically just shredded cabbage, tomato, onion, garlic, and that's it. What? You can also put egg in it. I might try it with egg. But yeah, I'm gonna make breakfast and I'm gonna have a very, very chill Saturday because I haven't slept too well. And I want to set up my Christmas tree and all that stuff. So I'm gonna do that today. And then I'm also gonna give Mona a haircut or attempt to because she's looking real, real crazy. And last time I attempted to give her a haircut, it didn't go so well, but hopefully this time it's different. Um, I'm gonna try and use the scissors more than the clippers and see if that works better. It's okay, she still hates this thing. So this is as good as I could do. She kept moving way too much, so she's still super shaggy. I'm gonna give her a bath. Now it's bath time, huh, baby? So she's done with her bath. She looks like a little rat. Hey y'all, so I'm coming to the Habitat for Humanity Restore. Um, Vengeance is there. Hi, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Excuse me. Did I miss some hair on your chin? Oh gosh, we gotta get that. <laughs> I have some fries going here. Oh, nice and warm. I'm going to make some kind of like in and out animal style fries. What is that burnt piece? Oh, this is apart from the, from that thing I'm a jiggy in there. Anyway, um, I made some grilled onion. I'm going to stick that on top. And then I either have Thousand Island sauce or sometimes when I have leftover in and out uh, spread, I use this at home. So I'm going to do this now. Hey y'all, so earlier I went to my garage to try and get my Christmas tree out, but I couldn't reach how far back I put my Christmas tree in this like little storage area in it. So I ended up pretty much just giving up. My neighbor's actually, my neighbor's gonna let me borrow his bigger ladder tomorrow or Monday. So I'll be able to take it out then and put my Christmas tree up because I still have like my regular tree. This actually has Christmas lights on it, um, but I just don't turn it on all of the time. And I'm just hanging out with Miss Mona here. I've been doing a little bit of homework and I'm gonna watch some Dexter now. So I'm pretty much ready for bed. I'm tired, I wanna sleep. But this little lady over here doesn't wanna sleep yet. She's right behind me. Where are you? There she is. Oh, weirdo. Miss Mona is finally in bed, so am I, and it's time to sleep. Good night. Good morning. Look at those little peepers. Look at those peepers. Baby. Okay, time to get up. Good morning, my little bug baby. Hey y'all, good morning. So today is Sunday. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday. I just threw it on to get Mona out of her crate. Hey, baby. Hi, Mama. I have another day where I really don't have anything particular that I need to do. So I'm gonna go shopping and see if I can find something for mom. We're gonna be going on vacation in a couple of weeks. And so I wanna find something nice for her to wear, maybe something for me to wear, and then just pretty much hang out. Hopefully I can get my Christmas tree down from the garage freaking storage thing that I have uh, so I can put it up because I wanna put it there where this tree is and then put this tree upstairs somewhere. So yeah, I'm gonna, Kind of get started with my day. Slowly, I'm in no rush. It's it's 10 a.m. I've been awake for like four hours, but I didn't really want to get out of bed until now. So I'm gonna make some breakfast. All right, y'all, so I am ready. You can hear Mona barking outside. There's people like right outside our house. So if she's barking at him to get the heck away. Um, I'm wearing my new hoops. I'm gonna be adding these to my Etsy pretty soon. I have my custom chain. This is like a 12 inch chain on me. I'm just wearing a regular little top and these are my new favorite jeans. I bought these at downtown LA the other day. I went Friday and um, 
they were $15, believe it or not, $15. They're the Kendall and Kylie brand. Um, they were a sample size or a sample piece that they had at the wholesale fashion district. So I was able to buy the only one that they had in this size, it's 24, so it fits like a zero. And I love it because it's really like snug and perfect. I would kind of compare it to like Forever 21, like the really stretchy jeans, but these come up high and they're like nicely high-waisted and they fit me right at the base of my ankle, which is gonna be great for my work outfits on Fridays when we get to wear jeans. So yeah, I'm gonna just get my stuff and then head out to go to the mall and then pick up a couple things at different stores. Also, quick PSA. I bought these like mirror cleaner wipes. They're the Clorox brand. These are trash. Trash. Look at how disgusting it made my mirror. It went from that, which is dirty on that side, to worse on this side. I give up. I'm gonna go get a different cleaner that I usually would get on Amazon, but I could get at Costco. So I'm gonna go do that because, God, look at that. First stop, Michaels. All right, y'all, so I'm inside of Michael's and it seems like they're freaking giving away stuff where there's like the biggest sale on the planet because this place is full of people. <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly look for what I came to get and then heading out immediately. Stop number two, Ross, and then Sally's over there. I didn't find what I needed at Michael's, so we're going to Joanne and then Nordstrom Rack. To get something for mom. I found a couple dresses at Ross, but maybe I can find something better at Nordstrom Rack. Hey y'all, so I'm back home. Hi BB girl. I went to Trader Joe's and I was able to pick up a couple of things. I have this broccoli and kale pizza crust, a cauliflower crust, cheese, and gluten-free all-purpose flour, which I'm so excited for so I can make soups and stuff. Um, brown rice that I always get, cornbread mix that is gluten-free so it has no wheat in this one, regular hash browns. I found this gluten-free whole grain bread that does not have, I don't think it has any wheat. I don't know if I'm allergic to sorghum though. I hope not. Got these crackers, they don't have wheat, and these waffles. And also got this top nut to have with the crackers and wine and chips. For work, I'll oh, have these as my snack. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this stuff away and get started with dinner. I think I'm gonna make some brown rice with curry. I've been wanting that for a little while. If not, yeah, I'll leave the pizza for tomorrow and I'll get toppings for tomorrow because I forgot to get mozzarella cheese. Hey y'all, so I just got stuff out of the garage. Maybe y'all can see it if I move it a little lower. All that stuff right there is from the garage. Um, so I can put my Christmas tree up. I don't really have decorations other than my Christmas tree, but I'll pretty much just put that up right now. Miss Mona here, I'll have her play on the couch while I do this. Really hot after moving all that stuff. Hi, Vivi! All right, y'all, so the tree is up. All the flowers are on it. All of the spheres are on it. I love putting the poinsettias on here. Um, I didn't turn on the little northern star yet. And then ended up putting these two chairs together. And then I put this here on my stairwell and I put those four little stockings on my fireplace. Ooh, I should, I don't even know if my fireplace is actually plugged in let's see no it's not there you go I plugged it in and I like that this has just the light feature like it is now where the temperature's off but the lights on and two lower settings and then if I want it to heat up I turn on the actual heater but we still don't need that here in California we have tons of stuff that I need to take back this is wrapping paper that I'll keep in here 
and then I have to put my sewing machine away and my Halloween stuff away. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. She's been watching me put everything away and finally I put her back over there and she is having her dinner. She will only eat if I completely ignore her. So just from putting up my Christmas tree and like moving things around, I'm a little beat up already. I have a scrape on my hand. I hit both knees to the point that I actually cut my leggings. So I have a hole here and I cut my, or I hit myself like here on the corner of my table. Um, I hit my other knee as well. And then I have this bruise right there on my elbow from yesterday. So I'm just gonna look real blue and purple soon, probably tomorrow, but I'm enjoying my tree. I have my little Mona, she's right behind me. You can barely see her. And I'm just going to get a little bit of Etsy work done here on my laptop before I go to bed. Good night. Good morning, lovey. Hey y'all, so today is Monday Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to y'all and your families. I am gonna have my breakfast right now. I made some eggs, hash browns, and I made the, the waffles, or I heated up the waffles from Trader Joe's yesterday, the gluten-free one, so I'm kind of excited to try that. I normally have waffles as more of a dessert after dinner than a breakfast thing, but I just couldn't wait to try it because I've been wanting something more Hearty. And then I used agave uh, instead of regular maple syrup, which I do have, but I want to try it with agave this time. So I'm going to do that now. No, baby. Oh, God, it's hard. Jesus. Is this normal? Rice flour is a little bit tougher. And, geez, that's hard. Hopefully, it'll break a freaking tooth. It's good. It's crunchier and like harder than a regular waffle, but it's good. Keep in mind, I'm also very weak, so when I'm cutting and putting all this force, it's not that much force. I would think the trash guy wouldn't come on Veterans Day. It's a holiday. Hey y'all, so I've been cleaning for a while, but <laughs> I thought it'd be funny to mention last night, I forgot I had brought this tree up and I actually put it here in the middle of the hallway, not in the room. So when I was coming upstairs to sleep, I freaked out because I saw a shadow of something and of course I didn't turn the light on. So that scared the out of me. But yeah, right now I'm just kind of cleaning. I'm gonna be moving this tree into my bedroom. I have things that I need to do, like reorganize this. I just started stacking things in here, but I need to reorganize it. I bought some like little tiered, shelf things and then since i reorganized my bedroom oh let me pause this since i reorganized and moved my furniture around i normally put my tree in that corner there but i moved that cabinet last week so now i don't think i'll put the tree here because i like being able to use this mirror and this is like my little cushion pile i'll sit here with miss mona or if i want to just sit on the floor um there's a cushion under there that's just a basket with like extra blankets, that stuffed animal and the sweater I've been using to hug Mona. Um, normally I put my laundry hamper right here, but I ended up moving it into the closet there. So I think, I think the tree is gonna go right here. Um, I scooted that, that drawer over. And so I think I'll put the tree here and that can be its place because obviously I don't wanna leave it in that other room. And then I wanna, Put some stuff away this is stuff that i'm um gathering to pack for a trip that i'm going on this stuff needs to go in that linen closet and then all of this stuff is like school stuff that i need to put away in my closet and my glasses as well it's in this closet here but i have like my glasses case up there oh i need to fill these two up with cotton balls and q-tips. I'm completely out of q-tips. So I need to put this stuff away, but before I do so, I need to pull these shoes out and this rack out because behind it, right back there in gold, is my luggage bag. Two lu luggage bags, actually. And I'm gonna be using those for the trip I'm going on, so I need to pull those out. And then once I do so, I'll put that other stuff away. There's Ms. Mona's crate. I put it here. This is where she sleeps. I need to wash all of my makeup brushes and sponges. And then this is all stuff that I'm going to hand wash. This is just Etsy stuff. All right, so this is basically the bedroom overview. I put the tree here, plugged it in. I'm gonna be clearing off my bed, of course, and all that stuff over there. 
this stuff here. These old v VHS tapes, VHS tapes, is that there? Yeah, VHS. I refuse to get rid of them. I have Polly, Monsters, Inc. There's Titan Mutant, Ninja Turtles, Peter Pan. These are all movies that I used to watch as a kid. Oh, there's Pokemon in there. And I kind of refuse to get rid of them. So I'm going to actually take these downstairs and put them in my little fireplace bookcase thing. This bag has stuff that I need to take downstairs. That bag has stuff that I need to just go through to put away here in my room. And the one in the back is trash. Hey y'all, so as I showed you guys, I've been cleaning all day. I ended up just getting a little bit more stuff done in my bedroom. I didn't get to the linen closet or any of that, but um, I went downstairs to get some water and lo and behold, I drank it all. So I'm completely out of water and I forgot to pick some up yesterday and the day before. So I'm gonna head out to Moreno Valley and do that now. I'm gonna go to Winco. I like getting the water from there and I'll probably end up getting some fruits and veggies and possibly snacks. Ooh, maybe some sushi. I like their sushi. It's the only store-bought sushi you'll have. So maybe I'll get that for dinner. Hey y'all, so I just got back from the grocery store and I did one of the dumbest things on the freaking planet. Last night after I was um, decorating and all of that, I put all of the boxes and stuff that need to go back in my garage by the front door. All day today I've been cleaning, going up and down the stairs, didn't even think twice to move that stuff. So. When I went grocery shopping, I went out the back door. And so when I was coming home, I couldn't get in. I struggled to get in. I finally managed to get in, but I was struggling. So that was really dumb of me to put everything there. The reason I put it by the door is because if it's by the door, then I will like more likely just take it. But I didn't do that all of today. So <laughs> lesson learned, I won't do that again. Um, but thankfully I'm in and I went to Winco and I got a couple groceries and things and I found these. Um, these are so natural freeze dried strawberries. I also got like a mixed berry one. I think peaches, uh, those are in the kitchen, but I'm gonna try those. And I ended up getting a spicy can of California roll for dinner. I'm gonna eat that right now. And thankfully I've got water, the reason I went. So I'm about to try the freeze-dried strawberries. Um, it says it's one serving per container, which is one whole bag. It has 0.71 ounces. I didn't realize they would be whole strawberries that have been freeze-dried. I thought they'd be slices because they feel like they'd be sliced. I don't know, I just I had a different idea of it. So let me show y'all. Oh, these are real crunchy. Um, this is like a half sliced strawberry. Let's give this a try. Mmm, they're sweet. Sweeter than I thought. They're good, they're just really sweet. See, they're like little halves or chunks of strawberry. It's kind of strange. Not gonna lie, I don't know if I like these too much. Like they're not bad, but they're not delicious. They're not like over the top delicious. Oh my God, I need to eat these every single day. Will I eat these? Yes. Will I buy more when I'm, once I'm done? I don't know, maybe. I have a couple other packages of the other fruits like I mentioned, so I'll be trying those. Maybe I like one of the other flavors more, maybe not. Who knows? Anyway, I'm gonna keep watching Dexter while I go through paperwork, I pulled out more paperwork that I need to sort. Hey y'all, so I'm gonna get a couple of my Etsy orders done right now. It is around like 10 p.m. So I'm just gonna do that really quickly so I can go to bed. Oh, my little lady, she still has too much energy. Here, go get it. Oh, go get it. <laughs> I'm gonna play with her for a little bit as well. See if I can get this energy out because if not, she'll do this teeny tiny little whimper that I barely can hear it, but I can hear it and I can't sleep if she's whimpering. So I'm just gonna get my orders done and then go to bed. Good night.